Hey folks, how are you doing? So, got home back from the show today. I'm not going tomorrow, but I had enough. And all the cool stuff is anyway gone. It's mostly just couple, couple small time makers and uh, dealers, you know, there tomorrow. And I'm tired. I'm dead, dead tired, really. Everybody was today. Every, the people that came yesterday and today, we were all dead tired. But we had a great time, really good time. Met a lot of cool people. Who was there? Han Hans, awesome dude. By the way, Han Hans is he got he got lucky. He left me his ticket, and uh, of course I'm not gonna sell his knife. This is his knife. I just picked whatever I thought was cool from the selection there. Uh, luckily enough, he is happy. Once I called him, he was happy about this one. Sweet, sweet XM18, three and a half inch, Spanto grind, stone wash finish, beautiful knife. It's actually the same one that I won last year. I, I wanted one like this, but uh, slicer grind, I would like that, that's one I would like. I still think it's a little, I don't know if I would use it, for some reason I just want it, but it's still a little too big for my use. That's probably why I like the 3-inch the so much, because it's like great great size for me, that's what I like. You've seen the one that I won yesterday, that's gonna go to the cliff stamp, you've seen my old one, you've seen the answer. One new thing, what I did buy today, oh, this is a really cool blade, I don't remember the name, uh, Diskin. This can you say it's actually one of the one of the three major carbon fiber makers on the market for knife makers, you know, uh, composite crafts, black site, and this guy is doing some cool stuff too. Just like anybody else, you know, the lighting strike, the the regular carbon fiber, some unidirectional also. But he came out with these cool knives. He has some production knives, cheap ones from uh, from uh, made in China. But this is like a mid tech knife made here. I think these are made in states. And we were all amazed, we were amazed to that degree that I think eight of us from the friends, like all these friends that we were hanging out all together between these two days, I think eight of us got this knife bought it. That's how amazed we are with this knife. It wasn't cheap, it's, it was $350, but supposedly that was a show, pri uh, show price. It should be, a, I think he said uh, he said to somebody that it, they're going to be 550 which is a little steep, but 350 is a great deal for, you know, product... Uh, what we call it, custom knife, but the mid-tech knife, you know, a lot of, a lot of work is done by machine. Uh, actually, most of the knives are mid-tech knives, you know, most of these custom knives are mid-tech knives, actually. But this one is amazing. It's beautiful action on it, very nice flipper, very smooth, it has a bearings in it. Uh, Elmac steel, hardened with Peters by he Peters heat treat, so that's awesome. Beautiful stone wash finish. Nice decent edge, nice thin edge, which I like, definitely big, big, big fan of that. Nice pointy tip, I think very good and elegant looking blade. Very comfortable handle, just right, you know, nicely contoured. You have that really cool carbon fiber on it, with like a texture on it. It's, uh, it's milled out by machine, but it has a really very, very nice texture. I think he said this is a mixture of the regular to wheel car carbon fiber and the unidirectional. Uh, it looks very nice in person, very, very nice, almost like a sandpaper, but made out of carbon fiber. And now the cool part, oh, really nice, very nice, well-designed pocket clip that is removable, but it is only in this position, I think, yeah. Now the cool thing about this knife is, check this out, it's regular, manual, you know, thumb stud opening, elegant knife, right? But check this out. How cool is that? I would never come up... You know, I never, I would never realize that it is auto un, un, until they showed me. You can actually you slide actually the scale sideways, and it flies out as automatic. Really, really cool blade, and the action on it is just amazing. Just the manual action is freaking awesome. Flies out beautifully, nice and smooth. It's not too big. You guys know that I, I, I don't really like big, big knives. It's not too big comp to compare it. You know, you see. It's pretty much the same blade size as a as a hinderer. You know, if the, if you put them from the top of the handle, it's a little bigger. But actually, like, ah, it's a little bigger. But it's not big. It's not big, big. And look at the you know XM eighteen three and a half inches, almost the same size. But it's this is smaller and ele a lot more elegant looking. So you have a really nice finger troll. Very excited about this knife. Very very excited. Very good looking. I think very elegant. This was the knife that I bought for myself like many other of us did, and uh, very happy with it, treating myself with that. Uh, who else we've met? Vance was there, Vance Rhodes, Sebastian, Seabostrip, all great guys. They have some really cool knives. 
we've met uh, one really cool guy, Bob. He's not a YouTuber, but he had amazing knives. I have some. I have a video of his knives. Uh, Painballer was there from from here, from New York. Another great guy with his friend, Army guys. Uh, who else? Poof. Pen food. Pen football. Another one of my friends, Don. I don't even remember. Blade dude. Blade Rumble. A lot of people walked up to us. They they recognize us, me and Jeff. It was very nice to talk and meet meet you guys. It was really really cool experience. I always enjoyed it very much. I enjoy that experience actually more than the knives on the show. To be honest, I do enjoy meeting people, meeting friends, and just you know talking to them, having fun. You know, if somebody somebody woke up to me said that uh, that I inspired them and helped them with starting making knives, that was like the best feeling ever. It was really cool. And I there was a couple of people like that that they started you know telling me that they they started doing this and that, which was it is a great feeling, great feeling, and it's it makes it all worth it. All this what I'm doing here, what I'm trying to do, and I really appreciate you guys. Had a great time. I cannot wait for the next one in March and then the Blade Show. Really cannot wait. One of the best times of my life are on these shows. Meeting people, meeting friends, making new friends and uh, it's amazing. We've talked to a lot of people. I, I talked to Rick Hinder for a while, a couple of times. Awesome, awesome dude. Really cool that guy. He's gonna do some, some, he's gonna go back in time and do some of the old school stuff what he used to do. Forging his own Damascus steel and making some classical knives which will be really cool I know my friend Tim Sugar Creek Forge will be very excited about that hearing that he probably knows that already <laughs> he's a good friend with him but that's gonna be a big thing I think uh, we talked to Bob Terzuola and a lot of other knife makers a lot of other like big na big names we got to talk to a little bit you know have fun with them got some advices from them I had a great time with Doug Reader, we talked a lot about everything, all the laws, the lawsuit against the New York City and all that stuff. And uh, by the way, we really, really, I, I personally really appreciate it when everybody, everybody who supports and helps knife rights. I'm a big supporter, I, I, I really respect and admire a lot what Doug is doing for, our, for us, for knife guys. It's not only about the New York City, it's about the whole states. You know, some states are fortunate that they have great laws. But there's a lot of states, a lot of cities that have really, really crappy laws and, you know, stuff about that. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hand, hand, by the way, Hand Hands is going to keep this one. That's what he said. So I'm very happy about that. I'm happy that he got the, got the hinder for, uh, for his price. Very happy about that. Nick, BK Blades, he was there also. He also got the hinder. Uh, thanks to my friend, another friend, Chris. Oh man, I met so many people, so many friends. It was great to meet you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.